Hey guys, so this is my everyday eyeshadow look. This is what I do every single day unless I want to feel adventurous and want to use like different colors. This is what I do. It just uses three MAC eyeshadows, which is um, rice paper for a highlight. In the crease, I have antiqued, and on my lid, I have carbon. And that's it. It's very simple. It takes me about five minutes to do, and I'm out the door. Um, this might be a little dramatic for some people, but I like having a dramatic eye every day. It makes me feel sexy, and um, yeah, so this is how what I do every day. I hope you guys enjoy. Bye. We're going to start off by using Painterly Paint Pot by MAC. You just want to put that all over your lid. 239 Special Edition from MAC. I'm going to be taking this color which is rice paper. The next brush I'm going to be taking is the 224 by MAC. I'm going to be taking this color antique to right here where my pointer finger is at. Make sure to do windshield wiper motions as well as just round motions like this to get like a diffused look. Just any old shader brush. This is one I'm using. I got it from Target. And next you're going to be taking Carbon by MAC which is just a matte black. You want to start at your lash line and work your way up. And use padding motions if possible because you'll have less fallout that way. So you actually are pressing the eyeshadow into the paint pot so it will stick. Instead of brushing it this way and then eyeshadow flings off your brush and then that, that's not good. You'll just have shadow all over your cheeks. So you just want to put that shadow all the way up until you hit your crease. Don't go above the crease. So just make this shape right here. And don't worry if it's messy because we're going to go in with a blendy brush and blend that out. And I'm going to be using this one right here. This is also from Target Studio Tools. And then you just want to go and attack your crease. Get rid of those harsh lines. Windshield wipers and small circles. I'm going to be doing the bottom liner and I always put Urban Decay Primer Potion um, underneath on my lower lash line because I have a big problem with my eyeliner melting down here and it just looks gross by the end of the day and I hate that. So I'm going to be taking the 266 which is just an angled brush and you want to dip it into carbon and then put carbon on your lower lash line like so and next you want to take black track by MAC or you can use a regular um, liquid eyeliner pencil eyeliner you do not have to use this this is just what I'm choosing to use this is what it looks like I love the stuff that it glides on so smooth and this brush makes it very easy to apply. I want to get the Sonia Kashuk um, angled brush though because at MAC they don't offer a angled brush and I want to see what it's like to apply this eyeliner on with an angled brush. I heard it's easier. <laughs> You add the mascara. I'm going to be using Glam Eyes from Rimmel. And this is what it is right here. I got this the other day. And yeah. It has a brush like this. A plastic one. And I'm kind of liking this. Um, it doesn't clump so far. Don't forget your lower lashes. The look is done. So what I have on my cheeks is Copper Tone Blush. This is what it looks like. 
I love this blush. It's one of my favorites. I usually was just into pinks, but my sister said try something that's not so pink so it looks a little bit more natural. And I love it because I didn't think that these kind of colors would show up on my skin, but they do. I love this blush. It's like my favorite right now. And on my lips, I have Hug Me. There you go. Hug Me my MAC. It's just like a, a nude pink color, and I love this color. I love it. Um, and that's the look. Just remember to curl your eyelashes. A trick to curling your eyelashes, put um, the blow dryer heat on your um, eyelash curler for about six to seven seconds just to get it hot. Make sure and touch it before you put it on your eye to make sure it's cool enough to put it on your eye. And then that helps the curl last longer. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And follow me on Twitter, guys. Have a great day.